Since the early 19th century, covered bridges have been a part of the New Hampshire landscape. From James Tasker's covered bridges in the Upper Valley, to the Jacob Berry bridges of the Mount Washington Valley, to the impressive Boston and Maine Railroad bridges, New Hampshire was once home to 300 covered bridges. Built before the idea of an automobile was even conceived, many of these covered bridges could not handle the increased traffic and were replaced with modern steel or concrete structures. Some became storage sheds, and despite the many warnings, many were damaged by accidents. Some were destroyed by the weather. Many more were destroyed by fire, sometimes accidentally and sometimes on purpose. But by the mid-20th century, a movement began towards not only preserving these historic structures, but employing 19th century craftsmanship to do so. These covered bridges exist today solely because of the efforts of a small but powerful community who both recognized their significance and honored their tradition. Today, there are over 60 authentic covered bridges in New Hampshire, 46 of which are over a century old. Covered Bridges of New Hampshire tells the fascinating stories of these remaining covered bridges and the people and communities who saved them. As a companion to the book, you can listen to the Covered Bridges of New Hampshire podcast featuring interviews with members of the bridge community that I met along the way. Join me on my journey to learn about the Covered Bridges of New Hampshire. Whether you are a Covered Bridge expert or know very little about Covered Bridges, this book is for you.